Alright, so welcome back to another video. So in this video, like I said in the last one, I wanted to take uh, some time to actually devote into building this whole UI to make it look nice and beautiful. So we're going to start off with the uh, the login page. Uh, so this is where we're going to actually start using our CSS skills. Um, and then after that, I think once that's done, we can actually start setting up the back end stuff because there's really not too much there's really not much stuff on the front end that we're going to really have to worry about anyways it's just really the back end that's going to be the most complicated part of this application so let's start off with the home page so with the home page we have just two buttons in the center and then optionally we have a footer that i just added um so what i'll do is i want to have two buttons uh right over here logging with discord and the support server so this is going to actually require me to get the icon so i'll actually go ahead and install react icons i'm not going to bother getting the actual exact react uh i'm not react the exact discord branded logo because i did have that in the uh in the figma sketch um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try to see if i can colorize it because it'll be a white color by default but i'll just see if i could just change the color so let me just install react icons and I know React icons does have the Discord icon, I think. So we'll have to, we can definitely play around with that. Okay. Let me actually move this to the other screen as well. Makes it a lot easier. All right. So we have, let's go back to the home page. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to have the login with Discord and support server buttons uh, literally centered. Uh, so to do this, okay, so to achieve this and this, this is going to be a little bit tricky because we have, uh, we don't have anything on the top. We only have two things. Well, we have this literally in the center and then we also have this in the bottom. So uh, I'm used to actually just having like, you know, one, two, three, like one thing over here on the top, something here and then something over here. I think the best thing f for this is we can have this login with Discord uh exactly in the center for the footer uh, i don't want to use absolute because i feel like that's kind of i kind of feel like that's cheating so i think the best thing to do we can have it set to flex and we can have like an invisible element up top over here and we just have uh the flex directions to column and then we can set the justify content to space between i think that should work just fine okay uh, I kind of want to use CSS modules, in my opinion, because I don't really, I honestly don't really like using style components as much anymore, but they are good if you want like a basic structure. But if you have like a lot of different customization on each page, I don't really personally like uh, style components. But what I'll do is for now, I'm just going to go ahead and see if I could kind of just use inline styling just to kind of see what it looks like, and then we'll convert it into an actual CSS either a style component or a CSS module. So let's start off with this. So we want this to be a display of flex, flex direction, column, and I think justify content. Whoops, not center, space between. So we're gonna have a total of three elements. So top is gonna have an invisible div. Uh, the center is gonna be where the buttons are and the bottom is the footer. So where the bottom is, we'll have uh, some text. So we'll have a, let's see, how do I want to do this? Span privacy policy. And we also need some spacing in between that too. I think I have the, I think what we're going to do is for this div, it's going to be a display of flex. And then we're going to use a justify, uh, we're going to justify the content to be spaced between. And the direction of the flex will be row. So we're going to need to have privacy policy in terms of service and then contact us obviously i'm just getting the easy stuff out of the way you see that's what it looks like right there cool so let's go ahead and just get the the center div now so we're going to need obviously a button inside here we're going to need to have some kind of icon and then we're going to have the actual text which i guess i can use a paragraph okay you can see that right over there, pops up over there. And then we're going to have a second button inside here. And it's going to say support server. It's going to have its own icon as well. Okay, 
I'll worry about adding the styling later. I just want to make sure that everything can center properly. So, um, let me go ahead and see. So right now, uh, the reason why it's not actually centered, like over here in the middle, is we actually need to also, first we need to set align items to center. So that will at least center it vertically. But with space in between, it's not actually spacing it out because the height is not 100%. Okay. Now, uh, in order to achieve that, there's a couple things that we could do. Though, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set the height to 100%. Or wait, no, it's not a string, sorry. Then I'm going to do HTML height 100%. And I think we also need to worry about the root as well. And then we can also set this to 100% as well. And that should fix it. There we go. So exactly what I thought would work literally is what we just achieved. So that's perfect. I do want to add some padding though. Uh, so I think what I'll do here is I'll add some padding. Uh, I want, I probably want 50 pixels top and bottom, zero pixels left and right. Uh, and we also need to add box sizing border box. That way the padding that we just added is not going to contribute to the width. So the act order of the width and the height. So the total width and height is going to be um, combined with whatever the padding is as well. So that's what box sizing border box will do for us. Because if I remove that, you're going to see that it's going to expand down because the because of the padding. Okay, that's because the padding is adding to the height. Okay. Uh, I think. Well, I, actually, I'll do 100 pixels instead. I think 100 pixels is better. Okay, perfect. Uh, for the bottom, we're going to go ahead and need to have a div of flex, in my opinion. So, display flex. Uh, the width, we could probably set a fixed width, in my opinion. I think a fixed width is going to be okay. Uh, let me see what happens if I do 500 pixels and then justify content space between... Uh, let me see. What does that look like? Uh, I'll probably do maybe 450. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then now for the buttons. Uh, first, let me go ahead. Okay, let me actually go ahead and import. Uh, let's see. I think Font Awesome has the Discord icon. Yeah. So for now, I probably would prefer using like the actual Discord logo but this is fine so let's set the size to 50 and see what that looks like okay that's not too bad um okay we do need a question mark so let's see if i have question circle i'm not sure what this looks like but i'm just gonna find out okay yeah that's fine as well okay uh, from here, if I get rid of this div, you're, you'll see that this will move to the top. That's why we need this invisible div up top there. Okay. Um, cool. I think I could actually just get rid of this div. I probably don't need that. But I do need to set this div to flex. So that way, these two things can be on the same level. And likewise, I need to add a display of flex to this bottom button over here. So I can actually just get rid of the div, okay? All right, so what's next is we want to give these divs a width. Well, the bottom width is 450 pixels. So we could probably do maybe the same as well. Uh, maybe I'll do 400 pixels. And let's go ahead and add some styling to it. Bring this to life. Okay, so for the background, seems like the background is it has like an opacity which is going to be kind of annoying because it's it's a hex value but it has some opacity so let me show you so background color okay you can see that's right over there though so i could probably just bring that down just a little bit it's 48 percent so i think that should be okay uh it looks a lot different, honestly, compared looking at the, the Figma. I'm not sure why that happens a lot. Like, it tends to look a lot different, but I think I'll settle with this for now. We'll do the same thing for this bottom one. Okay. 
And then we're going to go ahead and add some padding. We'll do 25 pixels. Uh, let me see if I could add some border box or box sizing. Yeah, that's a lot better. Though I don't really like the top pixel, the top padding. So I'll do maybe 10 pixels on the top. Yeah, that's a lot better. So we'll do that on the bottom over here as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll go ahead and add a border radius. So let's say 10 pixels. No, that's too much. Five pixels should be okay. All right, there we go. And we're gonna last but not least add the 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 uh, the border, which I want to do one pixel solid. Uh, that's. I do want to. There we go. That looks. That looks kind of close. Well, we do. We do just got to decrease the the icon size just a little bit. Decrease the icon size just a little bit, and then increase the font size, and then we should be good. Uh, let me align the items real quick. And yeah, so for this, I'm actually gonna put this in a. Uh, I should probably put this in a style component right now because this is a lot of CSS. Uh, or I'll just put it in a CSS module. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and increase the font size. So style font size. Set that to maybe 18 pixels. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll do 14 pixels maybe. No, that's too small. I think 16 is already the default. I think 20 pixels should be... Yeah, 20 is fine. We'll settle for 20. We'll change the size of the icon to 45. Yeah, that's that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that down here. Okay. And actually, no, I don't really like the font. I'll do 18. 18 is fine. Yeah, 18 is okay. And then we'll we'll go ahead and add uh let's see for the justify content property. I think space evenly would, would make the most sense. Uh actually nah, that's not good. Space between maybe better. I just don't like yeah, well, we can add some padding though. We can definitely increase the padding on the left and right. So we could probably do maybe like a hundred pixels or seventy-five maybe. Um, but I think it would make more sense if we just decrease the width. Yeah, I think that would make a lot more sense, honestly, in my opinion. Decrease the width, and then we just... Yeah, that would be a lot better. Or we could do a 350. And then... 50. Yeah, that's 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 a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah, like I said, with CSS, uh, this is why, like I said, this is going to be an hour-long video. Probably maybe even two hours long. But with CSS, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, because you, you can't really just get it right in one go. You have to spend some time to, you know, um, play around with it until you actually like what it is that you got. Okay. Um, cool. So I think the next thing that we need to do is just add a justify content down here. There we go. I don't really like the size of the top. So let me see if I could add instead. Yeah, I think four pixels on the top and bottom for padding is perfect. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, and I'll also change the background color. And last but not least, we can just add some margin. So, um, let me see. I'll do margin, top and bottom, four pixels left and right zero. And I'll do the same thing for this one as well. Perfect. All right, and yeah, it seems like it's centered just fine. The only thing that I don't really like is I don't really like how the color is uh well I could just actually change the color of the logo actually. So let me do that real quick. Color. There we go. That looks way better. Perfect. So I think honestly that's that's honestly great in my opinion. Okay, now before we continue, what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder called styles because I do not like having all of this uh in I, I don't like having um inline styles so I'm gonna move this on to a styled component 
real quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a stock component. And I'll call this, uh, I'll just call this a uh, home button or main button. I'll just call it a main button for now. It's not really going to be a button. It's just really just going to be a fake div or a fake button. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not really going to be a button. Okay, and we can just go ahead and paste in all of the properties. We do need to get rid of all of the commas, though. Or not commas, the uh, the quotation marks. Okay, is that even... Oh, wow. Yeah, we have to also get rid of... It's supposed to be... It's been a while since I've used stock components, but this should be okay. Perfect. All right, cool. So now I can just literally get rid of this. Change this to main button. There we go. That's way better. Get rid of that. There we go. What's wait, what's going on here? Wait a minute, hold on. Let's make sure I have everything correct. Okay, so it seems like that's all good. Okay, so that's that's that. Um uh, why is the color different? That's kind of weird. Wait. What's going on? Oh, wait. Whoops. Forgot about this. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it's okay. All right. So align items, border radius, box sizing. I think that's... Yep, that's perfect. All right. Perfect. Forgot about that. Okay. So that's pretty much it for that. We can also just move this into its own style component. But honestly... um. I'll just call this homepage style for now. And so the height is going to be 100%, padding, 100 pixel, zero, box sizing, order box, uh, display flex, flex direction, column, justify content, space between. Also, not sure why my IntelliSense is not picking up any of these CSS properties, but that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and import home page style now. So this will look a lot more prettier. Perfect. That's what I like. I like this way better. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, one, one last thing I can't forget. We also don't want to forget the drop shadow. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. Uh, so for the drop shadow, it's going to have a blur of 5. So let's do box or i should say box shadow so zero x uh one y i think this is the blur and the spread is zero and the color is just uh it's just it's a black color we'll do that all right yeah that, that doesn't look too bad at all honestly yeah that looks that's that's okay what happens if i do 15 yeah no nah. I think five is five is just fine. I do want to increase the margin though. Let's increase it to eight or ten. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that, and let me also decrease the opacity as well. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can, I can, I can, I can settle for that. Okay, so when we click on login with Discord, we gotta add functionality later so that it will literally direct us to the authorization page. So it's gonna redirect us to Discord, right? Okay, that is literally just the login page, and that took us about. 20 minutes wow i can imagine the i mean the other thing should be pretty easy too so don't worry it's not going to take us too long to finish the other stuff but yeah that's just pretty much the login page so let's move on to the next step which is the menu page now so let's go and do that